Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I'm going to give you some tomato tips. Today's tomato tips are going to be pruning your young tomato plants. My advice may differ from some of the other advice that you've received online. I have been growing tomato plants for over 40 years, literally. It was my job as a young child to take care of the tomato plants and the very first thing I planted when I moved away from my mother's homestead was tomatoes. They are my favorite and so I'm very passionate about tomatoes. There are many myths surrounding tomatoes and how to care for them. One of the biggest that hurts my soul the most, I think, is the fact that tomatoes are often said to have suckers. I'm about to burst your bubble, people. Tomatoes don't have suckers. What people are calling suckers on tomato plants is actually lateral stems. Lateral stems produce just as much fruit as the main stem. There is no reason that these need to be removed. A true sucker is going to be something that is draining energy from the plant. And this is usually associated with trees that have suckers coming out from the roots around the base of the tree. This is not something that we see in tomatoes at all. So every one of these suckers is just something that's gonna produce more fruit. So scientifically speaking, tomatoes don't have suckers. Some people might say that when you remove the suckers, you get more fruit, but you're not gaining any more fruit by removing suckers. You actually are gonna have less fruit. The fruit may be bigger because there's fewer of them. So the energy of the plant is going into fewer fruit. So your pounds of tomatoes at the end may be close to the same, but your actual number of tomatoes does not increase at all. In fact, when you leave your suckers, they're gonna grow you far more tomatoes on the plant. And the reason why this is a good thing to have is because if you have a bird or a squirrel come along and take a bite out of one tomato, and it's only one of three tomatoes on your plant, you've just lost a third of your crop. Whereas if a bird or a squirrel comes along and takes a bite out of one of 13 tomatoes, you still have plenty more to harvest. No big loss. Okay, now that I've gotten that off my chest, let me step down off of my soapbox and teach you about how I do prune my tomato plants for better health and better harvest. The sky is blue, the sun is high Sitting here on my own I think of you, you're on my mind So, you know this tomato plant here in the middle is a little bit on the large size for the pruning. And some of these shorter, smaller ones are more ideal. So I've been waiting to prune so that I could make this video and I needed a good day that I could do that. So today's that day and I'm going to show you how I do this. First off, I got a stake to find my center trunk and make sure it was facing up so that I could find which parts of this plant need to be pruned off. I do prune in the beginning of the plant's growth. I prune everything off of the bottom foot. But right now, we don't have much more than a foot of growth, so it's only gonna be a third of the plant until we reach that foot mark. And that is about at three feet tall. So everything that I'm cutting off is going to be leaves that come off the side and lateral stems, not suckers, that come off the side at the joint between the leaves and the main stem. Tomatoes are vines. They are not meant to have just one stem. They are a vine. So it is important that you give them that opportunity to do what they want to do. Tomatoes are going to naturally do it anyway. Why fight it? The reason why I prune everything from a foot down is so that there's no splashing on the leaves that could introduce blight into the tomato plant from the soil. The good thing is, is that these bottom suckers 
or lateral roots can be rooted. So as I trim this plant up, I'm gonna put each one of those lateral stems into a container of water. They will root in that water and I will have new plants to grow in another area in the garden. It is important that the pruners that you use are sanitized. You don't want to introduce any disease to your tomato plants. All right, so this one is an ideal size for beginning our pruning transformation. I don't want to remove more than a third of the plant from the bottom portion. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to remove that leaf and that leaf and I'm going to dispose of my tomato leaves in the trash because I don't want to carry any blight into my compost. Now you notice I left these lateral branches. The reason why I'm leaving these is because they are so small at this point that I actually can't really get a good root on ones that are that tiny and that leaves us about two-thirds of the plant total material of green leaf behind. Okay so then we get to this slightly bigger plant. I'm going to remove all of the leaves first that are coming off of that main stem, making sure that I dispose of them properly. And because I have a lateral stem down low that's a good size, I'm gonna cut that one off. This one is going to get cut off as well because it's so low to the ground. And I'm gonna, mm, I might leave that one for one more go, but I'm gonna remove this leaf above it. So I cut my lateral branch and place it into water. And while I'm in here, I noticed that the container that I planted these tomatoes from must have had some weed seeds in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that and make sure that there's no competition in my root zone. We wanna keep it weed free so that the roots can develop and grow beautiful fruit. All right, now this one is a prime example of letting it go too far. So I'm gonna be pruning this one much more heavily. I'm removing all of the bottom leaves and lateral growth. Look at the size of that lateral stem that will grow a new tomato plant. All of those Nice fat lower lateral stems will become new plants for us. So look at that, who knew? As you can see, I have left this lateral stem right about where the first bloom starts is usually when I start leaving those lateral branches. So this plant does need to be continued in proper staking and I'll save that for another video. So now that I've got one bed done, I just have a few more to go. Make sure you get those newly cut stems out of the sunlight or they will wilt very fast. All right, so that's how I prune my tomato plants. I gotta get busy pruning the rest. As you can see, they look beautiful and healthy as it is. And I'm gonna continue to show the progress as we grow. If you have any questions or tips, let me know down in the comments. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. Another fun fact for you, this is a tomato leaf. Not just one of these single leaves on the side here, but this entire structure is one leaf. <laughs>